this morning we are south of Chicago starting Route 66 a part we've not done before again and we are at White Fence Farms and if Herky is distracted it's because of the big cows behind us let's take a look around here we go One of the things I like about uh, in Illinois on Route 66 is they've got these placards at all the major attractions you can stop and kind of read the history at. So in the 1920s, uh, Mr. Peabody uh, of the Peabody Coal Company started this restaurant farm. There's 450 acres here at that time. And he decided it's like, if I just had a simple menu of chicken with a few sides and travelers would stop in and just to, you know catch this uh, simple menu so anyway became quite famous uh, and it's still here today and in fact they have uh, some chains around Chicago too so anyway we're just gonna take a few minutes here at White Fence Farms in Romeoville Illinois than what we are my goodness <laughs> anyway you as you can see we got us a little treat for the road basically on the other side of the street from the rich and creamy is dick's towing this was a famous uh stop on route 66 everybody stops here gets their picture taken so I thought why don't we do the same thing while we'll eat our ice cream we found the prison this is famous from the Blues Brothers, mm -hmm. the movie, which we haven't seen. This is where Dan Aykroyd pulls up and gets John Belushi out of prison and they start their adventure, I'm told. <laughs> we we haven't seen it, maybe we should the movie, watch that I don't too. recall it. But, <laughs> After uh, Gettysburg, we'll watch this anyway, one. Anyway, in its day, it was beautiful. I have pictures of it in its day and now it is just falling down. We are told there's going to be a concert here tonight, but we are going to be farther south when that takes place. Or no, it's tomorrow. Tomorrow. Tomorrow is the concert, but we'll be way south by tomorrow. So what I'm told is that the prison was designed to look far boating, is the word they said to use. In other words, intimidating. And mainly it was meant to scare people when they pulled up here. And also, if you're driving by, you just the place looks spooky, and you don't want to be in there. Right. So uh, I don't want to be in there. <laughs> they have tours, but I'm not going. Uh, they actually, the tours are closed today, so we're gonna walk around a little bit and then get back on the road. But we're in Joliet, Illinois, right off Route 66 at the old prison. Now, Herky, you have to be a good boy and obey mom and dad, or you will be in a place just like this someday. Okay? Okay, gotta do what you're told. Okay.
So right here is a famous intersection on Route 66. This is where the Lincoln Highway and Route 66 intersected. Um, two famous highways across, that stretch across the United States right here in Joliet, Illinois. Nancy and Herky stayed down in the van because parking's at a premium, so I'm in a no parking spot down there and they're sitting there waiting on me. But look, I just had to run back and show you this iconic spot. Hey, we're gonna go inside and take a quick peek at the launching pad inside. Now, they are playing music on the inside, so I won't be able to do any narration, but uh, you know, we've been here before on the channel, but I want to take you inside and you can take a quick look. We just had lunch at the launching pad and now we are standing by the Gemini Giant. Ed forgot to get me. I got our penny, our smash penny. And Oops. we've been looking for this. It's the passport to Route 66 and you get all the different stamps. See, we have the Gemini Giant stamp. We're pretty excited about this yeah. actually. We've been so wanting one. We've done Route 66 as you know three different times. So now I guess we have to do it a fourth time to fill up our book. I'm pretty excited about that. Perky's only done it a couple times though, so. Right, he missed the first one, so. Hey, I hope you enjoyed looking around here. We've had a blast here. This really is a unique stop on Route 66 that everybody has to stop Wilmington, at. Wilmington, right? Wilmington, Illinois. Yep, that's where we're at. Our next stop is here at the famous polka dot uh, man i tell you what i would go in here and get something to eat but i am stuffed from having ate at uh, the launching pad there in wilmington so look let me just show you around here but this is another uh, quick stop on route 66 that we really enjoy This place is so popular, all the people that are famous and in always stop here and hang out. Look here, Betty Boop is hanging out here also. These guys, they just got out of prison right up the street here and are already down here getting them a milkshake. Okay, I picked up a part-time job here at the Ambler Beckler Texaco station here in Dwight, Illinois. And, uh, you know, stop in here and see me. Um, you know, we got gas for like 25 cents a gallon or something like that, so I'm sure you'd be happy to take advantage of that. Also, we can do a lube job and we can uh, change your tires if you want. And this is interesting. These are the last gas pumps that were used here at the Texaco station. Look at here, 49 cents a gallon. I'll take some 50 cent gas for about right now. It's right here, Nancy's dad had one of these in his shop. Man, I have busted a lot of tires on this machine. Uh, I could show you how to do it. So this is, like I was saying before, this is what I really like about Route 66 here in Illinois. They got all these kiosks set up and you can read about the place you're at. Right here, we got one of those uh, embossing things. So Nancy's gonna run over here and emboss uh, our piece of paper.
things I really enjoy about Route 66 is that um, you tend to kind of run into the same people over and over again stopping at these attractions. So I uh, got to talk to this guy with this forerunner behind me. Uh, he's been on a lot of road trips and uh, it's just really interesting comparing notes. And this is his first time on Route 66, so I was able to help him out a little bit, but pretty cool forerunner and he's really been to a lot of places in that. started to rain a little bit here but we are in Odell Illinois I've stopped here before and maybe a video a few years ago and showed you this but it's worth taking a look at again so um, the school was over here and the church and there's a lot of uh, things there this was route 66 that came through here and one of the problems they had is there was so much traffic on route 66 back in the day that they actually built a subway a tunnel that went underneath here so as you can see They've got it filled in today, but you'd go down there and cross over the street and come up on the other side. That way there was safety. So, uh, you know, I just want to stop really quick and show you. It's an interesting spot. Right up the street is another old gas station. We're going to run up there and take a look at it. Sign here, a picture of uh, people coming up out of the, the tunnel underneath. Whoa, it's starting to rain here. I'm going to run back to the van really quick before I get drenched. You know what I won't do for a shot for you guys, so hope you enjoyed it. Okay, we've made it up to the Miller Standard Station and it's raining. Nancy's already made her way inside. I'm going to run up there and show you. We're going to keep Herky in the van because we don't want to smell wet dog. Look at this, most of the tools and the equipment are left just like they're gonna come back and finish their work this afternoon. All right, I'll make this quick because they're getting ready to close. It's four o'clock, but uh, we got this old Winnebago trailer here. I want you to just take a look in here real quick. Hey, this is the way they would have traveled back in the day. Pretty cool. It's just uh, pretty much just like uh, it would be back then. It's not been restored or anything, so I think it's pretty neat. I know what you're thinking. We're in Pontiac, Illinois again, but we've got a picture of our little dude with the truck. We've got a picture of little dude with car. my car. We had to have this picture with little dude and Jack. This is an iconic stop and you always want to stop here and get your picture taken. In and front of it's closing time. So. so we can stay as long as we We're want. We're the only ones here. Normally, Usually you have to normally wait there's line. a line yeah. here and you gotta hurry up, take your picture. Uh, we can take as much time as we want. We can dilly dally. We love it. So we really like Pontiac. It's just a great place. I would recommend not missing Pontiac, Illinois. Anytime you come through, so many people we talk to miss it, but not us. Uh -uh. We are going to look at this place. Great town, great walk around, so much Route 66 history.